Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 19th, 2024. Joe Biden's largest obstacle right now is related to the border, immigrants, and figuring out a way to balance both the legitimate concerns about the border while maintaining civility toward people who come here and make this country great. And yesterday, he unveiled a policy that will hopefully do this by utilizing a policy that's been in place, parole in place. What is this? In short, this will have a, be a new policy where those who are spouses of legal citizens can apply for essentially a green card to live and work here legally. This is an expansion of an older rule. And eventually, in the future, apply for citizenship. There are requirements in place for this. First, continuously physically being present in the United States for 10 years or more. Two, no disqualifying criminal convictions. Three, not a threat to national security. Four, not a public safety risk. Five, pass all of other vetting processes. Six, otherwise eligible to apply for working and living in the United States. And seven, a merit of favorable exercise of discretion, which is a lot of legal talk for saying basically the positives outweigh the negatives on that last point. Conservatives are calling this mass amnesty, but it's more like mass green cards with a lot of caveats. The average person who will qualify for this have already been in the United States living and working for 23 years on average. You need to apply, so if you weren't known by the government before, you sure are now. This is a solid compromise for people who have likely already been paying into taxes with little to no benefit back and are essentially already part of the United States without applying to new arrivals or creating incentives for new arrivals. Now on to Boeing. The planes that took Buzz Lightyear's saying a little too far. The CEO testified before Senate. The CEO said some nice platitudes directed at the families who lost loved ones in recent incidents that has become a trend over the last few years, saying that they have a steadfast commitment to safety. Yep. That was in the apology. A uh, recognition uh, also of reaching out to whistleblowers to see what they are seeing would be nice since, you know, they saw it and he didn't. And a great point that progressives have been making for years, this Calhoun guy's salary is $32.8 million a year, million, for being at the head of a company that's killing people while not really having any negatives personally. Seems like a great gig. Maybe he should have just said... He saw what Firestone got away with and figured, we can do better. Anderson Lee Aldrick was sentenced today in 2022. He murdered five people, injured 19 more, and attempted to kill over two dozen more individuals in a shootout of a known LGBTQ plus nightclub known as Club Q in Colorado Springs. In total, there were 74 charges, including gun violations, hate crimes, and of course, the murder, all of which he pleaded guilty to, and was sentenced to... 55 concurrent life sentences. And with that friendly reminder, what mass shootings happened today? Actually, I'm going to change this to yesterday because the data gets compiled a little late for me. At Family Market in Delhi yesterday on 700 Pennsylvania Avenue in Richmond, California, there were four victims, two killed, two injured. One of those kills, what killed was a pregnant woman. So far, there's no information on the suspect or what prompted the shooting, but some are wondering if it had anything to do with the shooting earlier in the day, though that was not a mass shooting. And let's end on a controversial topic. The head is a limb. That's right, I said it. It is the most valuable of all the limbs, granted, but it's a limb. If you have a mouth, you can still manipulate things. If you have a neck, all the better. It's not the greatest at doing any of those things, but it houses the most important part of you. Your brain. So if you ever have that question, how many limbs do human have, the correct answer is five, sometimes six if you still have your tail. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.